I have to end on a little story. <laughs> there was a boy who walked with his grandfather, and he said to his grandfather, Grandfather, where do the stars go in the morning? His, father, his grandfather said, I don't know. The little boy was walking along and he said, Grandpa, why do people fight? <laughs> Grandmother, grandfather said, I don't know. <coughs> a little while later, the little boy said, Grandpa, where does the wind blow when it goes? Grandfather said, I don't know. A little later, the boy said, Grandpa, does it annoy you that I keep on asking you questions like that? <laughs> and the grandfather said, if you didn't ask, how would you learn? <laughs> um, I'll just say, I was very taken with what one of the members of the group said about um, Mother Teresa's message of find your own Calcutta. Because it just happened that I just went to Calcutta for the first time in September with my mother. Um, and I, it had a, a really strong effect on me. Before I went, I was feeling very frustrated with various things happening in the department where I work, and all these really small concerns that had become big to me. And then I went to Calcutta, and I came back, and it just put everything in perspective. You know, these things, not that they didn't matter at all, there were still problems that had to be addressed and so on, but I just thought I came back, and all these good connections started happening. Um, yeah, lots of, lots of good things. So there's, there's several senses to that, find your own Calcutta, I think. And the, the one that I'm talking about is to do with connection and feeling connected with other people and, and your surroundings. And I think an occasion like this is a very good one for building that sort of feeling and, and reality. Um, and maybe that's a sense of God. I was speaking to something that, that helped me see things in a very special way. Uh, was going to Bangladesh. And um, I, you know, being a believer in Jesus, I always read the scriptures and his um, connecting with the outcasts and the marginalised and just being there, actually in a school where the, they were her Mother Teresa's sisters working in a slum area in Dhaka. And <coughs> being able to see the gospel through the eyes of those who Jesus was most concerned with and realising that I was connected to them and coming back home again and my responsibility to all people to make life, to, to do what I could to give life to all people so that where there are structures that are keeping people in oppression, my responsibility is to do something about <coughs> naming those structures and trying to change them. Um, and that I could only do the best I could with what I've got right where I am. So that's why I'm here now. I want to first to thank the organisers for this great evening. It was fantastic and stimulating for me. It was great to be able to see perspectives from other faith traditions and the philosophical perspective as well on this issue of purpose of life. Uh, it has enriched me personally and stimulated new thought in me. Um, and uh, I hope that uh, you listening, you have, it has also stimulated you in this evening. Um, I, I consider myself an interfaith activist, and, um, and certainly this, this evening was a great example of an interfaith on the ground. Thank you. <laughs> of their particular perspectives um, has just, I don't know, bridged so many, uh, or formed so many connections. Um, the, the way that they've presented it, uh, it really has me feeling so positive about interfaith work. So can we thank them again? Mm -hmm.